so hello everyone again and welcome to my channel so excited to be back again and talk to you more about the 3x3 sigma tropic reaction and this is a specific way by which you can actually generate a reagent that is really crucial in terms of understanding how we can actually perform 3x3 sigma tropic reactions or rearrangements now in here we do have a particular aldehyde group this is a simple form or a simpler form of an aldehyde and this is actually leaning towards the right in terms of this with respect to this other species which is an enol and this enol which is in general this particular structure's name is vinyl alcohol We're actually lean towards the part left over here, which is this PC, which is an aldehyde in here. Now, this aldehyde interacts with this part PC, which is a substitute or substituted allyl alcohol. Then we generate this part PC in here, which is our product that is actually crucial in a three by three sigma tropic rearrangement now let's look at the mechanism by which this particular process actually takes place now first of all we usually protect all the highs by actually generating a particular form of it mechanism now we generate a particular form of it which is a acetyl form of an alcohol. So what we have is this acetyl over here and that is a hydrogen over here thereby protecting this from any form of reduction process. Now what we have is what this is present in an acidic environment there is an equilibrium that is generated that leads to the formation of a particular product where this oxygen picks up a proton here it doesn't matter which oxygen either this or that but once it picks up a proton on this particular acidic species what we have is the formation of a good living group on that particular same species where if by resonance and by inductive effect, this other section with a lone pair on this oxygen will actually cause the cleavage of this bond. And this cleavage of this bond is formed when a double bond is generated here, and this living group actually leads. As a result of this, this leads to the formation by equilibrium of our minor product here, where this has a positive charge on it. And uh, we have a double bond attached to this carbon and we have a hydrogen in here. Now take note that by introducing this other species into this particular intermediate product here, what we have is a process where this oxygen here actually acts as a nucleophile where it actually performs a nucleophilic attack on this particular carbonyl over here thereby causing this carbon to actually push its pi electrons over to this oxygen to form its lone pair and eliminate this positive charge to form a neutral species so what we have as a result of this process is the formation of our intermediate here with a positive charge on the oxygen and in here we have an oxygen attached to the methyl group and we have that and this other side we have a double bond here attached to our substituent over here now what we have next is that since we use an acid and I want to regenerate that acid because this acid kind of acts as a catalyst what we have is our water that was formed by the deprotonation here will now become a base where it picks up this proton and then this proton makes way to regenerate our lone pair on this oxygen thereby resulting in our 
minor product or I will say our pre-product in this particular case. Now this pre-product that is being here is really going to be influential because since we are using an acidic environment in here an acid comes by again and what happens next is that we want to be able to actually remove this as well because this and that they are all as acting as a protective group so this protective group needs to be able to eliminate it completely and then what that leads is that hey since your oxygen has lone pair the oxygen picks up proton and then what happens next is that we form a positive charge which enables it to actually become a good living group and then what happens next is that the oxy hydrogen there is that our oxygen which is actually within that particular structure will then cause the cleavage of this bond through its lone pair in here so its lone pair forms a double bond in here and what happens here is that this actually leaves this particular structure and what we have in this particular case is the formation of our pre-product where we have positive charge on the oxygen and over here we have our R group or it could be just a methyl group over here which acts as a substituent and here we have a double bond here and take note that there are hydrogens here and this hydrogen that is here is quite acidic due to some inductive effect that kind of makes this oxygen to pull electrons from this particular proton here now since we have water or acid being used up here the water will come back again and actually regenerate our acid which actually acts as a catalyst in here so once you pick up a proton by deprotonating this particular segment here what we have is that we reform a double bond here and this actually reforms our lone pair on the oxygen thereby making this overall species here to be neutral and what we have as our final structure is double bonded of the, the oxygen and this to the carbon that is attached to a substituent and the substituent could be a methyl group or anything else and what we have is this particular species that we have over here so this is how we are able to generate this fundamental compound that is actually crucial to perform a 3x3 sigmatropic process where if you want to number it let me just put a box here we can number this as 1 1 2 2 3 3 where we form our new sigma bond here and this old sigma bond between 1 1 is actually broken and this is actually done at a chair transition state where our R group is actually equatorial and then that leads to our product which is an aldehyde with our R group which is actually trans to our double bond that has been formed at our product side over here so that's about it for this video please thanks for watching let me hear your ideas and some other things that you have questions in terms of this particular process here and see you all on my next video. Be smart and see you on my next video. Bye.